two. Hello everyone and welcome to today's stream. So, sorry I'm a little late here, just a minute or two late. I was getting the music going, but uh, yeah, so it looks like we've got three people here. So thank you guys for taking the time to stop by and uh, hang out with us, talk about some cryptocurrency, uh, see what's going on in the crypto markets. Um, if you're new to these streams, uh, pretty much what we do, there's no structured topics or any discussions or anything like that. If you have anything you wanna talk about, hear my opinion on have you know ideas that you'd like to see on the channel anything really throw it in the live chat uh, typically in the past there have been you know it's been a pretty slower on on the slower side of the stream so you know if you've got a question or anything we can answer it um, so yeah basically I'll just start off uh, George hello nice to see you here um, Sylvia nice to see you welcome if you guys have any questions about cryptocurrency technology stocks anything like that MOP hello welcome uh, nice to see some new names here so I know we've been growing in subscribers over the last little bit so I want to say a huge thank you to everyone who is subscribed who's been liking the videos who's been viewing the videos channel is really growing nicely so it's nice to see uh, some new people in the community and, and new support. I do really appreciate it. Um, but yeah, again, if you guys have anything you want to talk about, feel free to leave it in the chat. Uh, it's great to see some people coming in here. And over the next few minutes, hopefully we can get some more people in. But uh, yeah, so looking at the, the Coin360 cryptocurrency heat map here, we can see Bitcoin up quite a bit on the day, which is something that we haven't seen in a little while, especially not almost 10% up. Uh, it's 9.17% right now, just under $39,000, um, and it's fluctuating quite a bit because uh, I was just working on the video for tomorrow, and it was over 39000 during that video, so definitely still super cool to see it going up. Um, you know, you, we see it scrolling down here. Bitcoin price could hit $85,000 in months as indicators flip bullish. So, hey, you know, we might not be done with this bull run. Uh, Graham, welcome. Uh, welcome to the stream. If you guys have anything you want to hear about, talk about, feel free to leave a chat. I'm happy to try and answer the questions to the best of my ability. If you have any suggestions of anything you want to see on the channel, again, leave a live chat. I try and take all suggestions and, uh, um, you know, incorporate them into the channel to make it more of what you guys want to see you know i can come up with what i think you want to see and what i would want to see on a channel like this but ultimately you're going to be the ones to tell me what you would love to see the most um mop uh you said you want to ask which crypto will be the future that is a really really hard question to answer it's a, it's a really good question um which crypto will be the future and, and you know if you're saying the most valuable coin you know for the foreseeable future five to ten years i think bitcoin will stay on top as one of the most valuable coins by market cap um you know it might eventually flip with ethereum if ethereum does their upgrades right if you're saying a coin uh, that's like the future currency of the world, um, where it's accepted in all stores and you know online retails and stuff like that, I think it's going to be a coin that is structured like Dogecoin or like BTT. Now, I'm not saying it's going to be any of those, but it's it has to be a coin that is inflationary. We cannot, we'll never see something like Bitcoin um, be the next cryptocurrency that is widely accepted everywhere, like you know fiat currency is now. And the reason for that is because it's designed to go up in value. Every four years when it halves, it becomes that much harder to get a Bitcoin. So the price is going to go up, which means why would you want to take Bitcoin and sell it or trade it for your groceries or a new car or anything like that? Now, you know, I'm not saying it's a bad thing that, you know, Elon Musk did accept Bitcoin for te uh, Tesla's for a little while there. But if I even had enough Bitcoin and if I was in the market for a Tesla, I probably would not have chosen to do uh, a Bitcoin purchase because it's going to go down in value when you purchase that Tesla and the Bitcoin that you hold will eventually go up. Cryptechology, Simon, welcome. Um, nice to see you here. I know it's been a little while since we've uh, um, you know, been on the same live stream together, but I have seen your YouTube videos and, and you're pretty active on Twitter. So it's nice to see you here. Um, 
So MLP, hopefully that kind of makes sense. I'm not sure exactly what you were looking for and, you know, will be the future. I think it'll be, you know, Bitcoin, Ethereum will kind of stay top one, two for a while, uh, at least by market cap. But for the next currency of the world, you know, it's going to have to be something that's structured similar to Dogecoin or something even like BTT where it's not really inflationary. But there's so many in circulation that the price is going to stay relatively low for the next, you know, little while. Um, but, you know, ideally, inflation at a set rate is good for an economy because you always know, you know, we always know how many Dogecoin are going to be created every single day. So that's definitely good compared to something like the US dollar which has printed I believe it's something in the range of 25% of all of the circulating supply within the last year due to corona so you know that's a lot of inflation really really quick um, so you know that's something that I think we'll, we'll see here in the future but you know that's kind of my thoughts on that but uh, Sylvia you said is pi going to rocket let me look up pi here let me go to the coin market cap and see because I'm not familiar with Pi. Uh, let's see, is is it uh, P I E or just P I? Uh, DeFi Pi. I'm guessing this is probably what it is here. So let's see here, um, uh, Sylvia. If you're still here, make sure let me know if the, is this the right coin that you are looking at because um, I you know I can review this one, but if that's not the coin you're looking for, I don't want to review the wrong one. Um, but based off I'll, I'll keep going through here and keep an eye on the chat there just let me know if this is it um, priced at 3.8 cents right now 5.6% um, up on the day uh, let's see here looking it looks like it's been at least on coin market cap for just almost a year August 5th uh, so about 10 months here 10 9 10 months but uh, looking at the last you know little bit here it did start to go up uh, 13 cents uh, and it's kind of fallen down um, let's see max supply is 220 million um, so that's actually on the lower side compared to some of these other uh, coins like dogecoin or BTT something like that you know I think you just looking at this coin here based off the circulating supply and all that I think it has the chance to go up pretty nicely but uh, Let's see here. We've got uh, looks like it's on you know uh, Uniswap, Pancake Swap. Um, they got quite a bit. Uh, so yield farming, bridge staking. Uh, let's see here. Borrow and lending and custom pool. So you know it looks like they've got a really nice website and a nice project behind it uh, with their uh, financial structure in the way that it is right now. Um, so that is you know something I think that could go up in value now what your definition of rocket is might be different from mine i think you know this coin specifically with a good team behind it i could probably see it being you know a dollar or two a coin within the next you know year but that's if the project continue going and like i said i don't know a ton about the project i just skimmed through the, the stats on their website here um so hopefully this was the right coin i see mop said uh, which coin is that um so if, if this was the wrong one let me know um just let me know what the name of the coin is uh, officially and i'll you know look at that in, instead of this one but hopefully this was it if not there's my thoughts on this one <laughs> Okay, sorry about that. Had to take a drink, but uh, Cryptectology, Simon, you said, I finally got my trading bots up and running. They've been performing quite well so far. I used three commas for it. Have you tried any trading bots? I have messed around with one or two trading bots. Um, ultimately, I decided not to use them because, um, you know, for a while in cryptocurrency and still really what I do is I... You know, I try and earn and just hold on to the coins, you know, whether that's Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, Dogecoin, BTT, um, Shiba Inu coin, which I did earn some of them. So I do have some Shiba now, um, which we can always talk about here later in the stream. But, um, you know, the trading bots for me never really seem to work, but I also never really put in 
what I think a good amount for the trading bots to work would be. You know, I was only ever testing it with maybe $20, $30, you know, not a couple thousand dollars like some of these other people are. So I'm glad to hear it's running for you. Um, did you program them yourself or was it something that you purchased from a, another company that you were using? Because I know you're pretty big on the Helium um, Helium network. So I don't know if you're trading your Helium coins into something else or if you're trading something else into Helium and you know what your bots are doing but uh definitely um i, I don't know is three commas the the name of the trading bot uh, i just realized that might be what it is here let me see if i just put that in yep that's the crypto trading bot here so um ultimate tool for crypto traders to maximize trading profits while minimizing risk and loss huh so let's see here Gotcha. Yeah. Um, yes. Okay. So know your own strategy. So I didn't know if they gave you a strategy or not. Um, see, the issue is with where I'm located in the world, every crypto trade is a taxable event, um, which I will either pay capital gains or capital losses on. Um, so that's a lot to keep track of if I'm trading and stuff like that. So you said, no, I'm trading my bots to gain more metallic doge and hnt so um okay so yeah you're still trying to get some more uh, dogecoin metallic and the hnt so yeah coins that are you know pretty popular but um you know for me if i was to get into a trading bot it would be a lot of work for me um because i do have you know bitcoin tips which has to be uh file its you know taxes and all that um to you know stay up to date and all that and that's a lot of paperwork and and all that to keep track of so um that's kind of part of the reason especially now that i would not use a trading bot i have nothing against them i've just never really gotten into it so you know we may have to talk a little bit more about that um now i don't know did you have a video on your channel about um about that if so i'll check it out um and see because i can always do a review on this um and see you know maybe i can look into setting it up for a little while but um you know definitely cool i'm always you know interested to learn and see new cryptocurrency sites and new ways of earning um because i know you know if you figure out how to trade really well you know just like the stock market with crypto you can uh earn quite a bit if you know what you're doing trading wise but mlp said you really want to learn how to do that so yeah i mean it would be cool um to kind of look into this a little bit more you know they've got plans here but uh uh simon you said yeah my helium hotspot has been great i was able to roi in five days wow that's really cool um definitely i'm a helium patreon alliance member wow that's really cool that you were able to roi in a day uh, or well, a day, five days. Um, that's that's really really cool. Um, see, the only thing is, I I was never able to get one that would ship. I you know even when I was looking at it, you know back when I first you know started hearing it from you and some other people here on YouTube. When I first looked into it, it was you know I wouldn't be getting it still for probably another three or four months. Um, and you know for five six hundred dollars plus shipping, uh, excuse me, plus shipping that seems like quite a bit of a risk for me so i never ended up trying to get one but really glad to hear that you know it's working out for you um mlp you said i only know one pie so yeah I, sylvia never responded there on if that was the right pie um so we'll see but uh crypt technology said didn't make a video yet but maybe i will thinking about doing one yeah i would recommend it um you know i'll definitely check it out and you know i can always share if i ended up doing my own video on it you know of course i'll give you a shout out you know say hey you know you're the guy who uh showed it to me here and you know got a great youtube channel about uh helium mainly but uh you know some other cryptocurrency stuff as well but uh um yeah mop said you know he'd like to see the video um and he's looking for you to uh teach him how to use the uh, trading bot but um let's see here so for free you actually get one account per exchange scalp trading terminal smart trade one dca bot one grid bot one options bot and one bitmex binance futures buy bit or ftx futures bot 
Um, and it looks like actually just moving up here, it's actually not that bad for free. So I'll have to look more into this, you know, maybe after the stream or something like that, just to see and test it out. Um, you know, if you're having success with it, you know, why why not check it out and see what, uh, what could possibly come from it. But um, yeah, it's definitely crazy. Hard to get one. You know, it's similar to the GPUs, you know they're doing so well that uh, you just can't get them and you know unfortunately I would have loved to review one here but it was just you know a little bit too much money with way too long of a waiting time because um, like I said you know the ones I was looking at for my area would have been you know shipping eight to twelve weeks after I ordered it which was back in you know April so April May June you know possibly the end of July um, but, uh, you know, definitely kind of strange, you know, unfortunate, but, you know, maybe I'll end up getting one through eBay or something like that. So, um, but uh, Brian, welcome. Uh, nice to see you here. Uh, I've been doing pretty good. How have you been? Um, you know, you said you did see my video on El Salvador and can uh, definitely dig it. I agree more with European countries. Adopt the sky's the limit. Good stuff. Well, thank you for the support. I'm glad you've been liking it. And yeah, that El Salvador video, if you guys uh, didn't see that one, that was some big news. Um, with cryptocurrency, the country of El Salvador, which is in Central America. Uh, yeah, Central America actually made Bitcoin legal tender in their country. So that means, you know, in similar to like the US with the dollar or the euro in England in uh, Europe or the pound in England British um, you know it's definitely um, definitely really cool because you know now for any public or private debts you know you can pay your tax bill with Bitcoin you could buy your groceries you could buy a car and you know like I was just saying at the beginning here um, you know it's great to see that adoption but I think we need to see adoption like that with coins like dogecoin or bttc coins that are deflate or inflationary and not so much something like bitcoin because you know bitcoin's meant to be held on to it's a an investment like gold where it'll go up in value there's a finite amount of it whereas you know dogecoin yes it's there's more minted every day so will it ever be the value of bitcoin no you're never going to see a thirty-eight thousand dollar dogecoin if you do a lot of people are going to be really really rich but that's not a bad thing you know we could see a dollar dogecoin easily i still believe that um but we could see a lot of mass adoption with dogecoin because of the way it's set up so and brian you said yeah we're already seeing the bump from el salvador's adoption on the on sunday so you know that's a great thing for bitcoin um but you know i i hope to see like you said more countries over in europe or even you know over in north america south america you know everywhere really i don't think it necessarily matters where it is um whether it's a big country or a small country any adoption is good adoption obviously the bigger the better but you know it's nice to see that it's slowly starting to get accepted but simon said yeah i totally understand i was able early in the year you have 25 um coming on the way so um that's definitely cool. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, if you're doing a giveaway, I mean, I'd definitely, you know, check it out. But, yeah, that's definitely really cool. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's nice that you were able to get some of those. So, Century and Life Changing Stepping Stool. Yeah, exactly. That's very cool. Um, that's a great way to put it. So, uh, Ethereum is coming up, but that uh, hurts the, the, mi the miners. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I think it'll be interesting to see what happens with uh, Ethereum and cryptocurrency um, when EIP-1559 goes into, uh, into effect or when they do make their official switch over to POS and you can no longer GPU mine. I think that'll really change the mining space as well as the... Uh, the um, GPU market as well so um, you know it's definitely uh, definitely something that needs to uh, you know happen eventually to start moving towards the green technology but you know it's going to be different um, for miners but um, MATIC is another one of my favorites to hodl right now and Slonia I have have you found any new crypto projects you got into uh, right now, the newest crypto that I did get into was I did get some Shiba Inu. Um, you know, I did some reviews on it. it. It was a risk. I think it was $90. 
I got some, and I'm just kind of holding on to it just to see what happens. Um, but uh, really, right now, I'm still mining BTT, BitTorrent coin. I still think BTT has a lot of potential um, because uh, because of you know the project behind it. So BTT right now is up to 003514. I started mining around 005 which is, you know, whatever, you know, you got to take some losses, take some gains. I think, you know, if Bitcoin starts going on another bull run here, um, kind of like what we saw scrolling across the bottom, or, uh, you know, it keeps getting adopted in other countries, BTT will continue to go up as well. So those are the ones that I'm still in right now. But uh, um, so, yeah, definitely really, really cool. George, you said, what about the fact that the top 10 wallets have 70% of the doge? That's a really good point. Um, you know, I think we got to see a, a break apart in the rich list of Dogecoin. We got to see that wealth distributed around more. And Elon Musk himself actually said the same thing. Um, you know, Dogecoin can't really progress with how many people hold Dogecoin. You know, top 10 wallets holding 70% of the circulating supply. That's not a great statistic. So... Um, you know, the good thing is it's been like that for a while. And even though Dogecoin went up crazy amounts and is still up crazy amounts, we haven't seen a huge sell off from those top 10. You know, there's been some, but there hasn't been enough to really affect the overall market. Um, you know, that's so it's something that would need to change. But for right now, I think it's not a huge, huge concern. Um, you know, as Dogecoin continues to develop, it will be become something that we need to keep an eye on. So that's a really good point. But yeah, so ASIC miners will have to uh, switch over to something as well. Um, Simon said, yeah, ETH mining will be uh, with GPUs probably when we have like one year, maybe a year and a half left, but I got my GPU on ETH mine. Yeah, so, um, you know, between NVIDIA hash rate limiting their, um, their, you know, their cryptocurrency mining algorithms on their new GPUs, that's something that, uh, you know, that paired with ETH moving towards POS, you know, mining is going to be a really different space. Now, that doesn't mean it's going to die completely because you can still mine Bitcoin. There's a ton of other cryptocurrencies you can mine. They're just not going to be nearly as profitable as Ethereum. But, you know, you got to take some risks. I think mining will move to something else. I think Ravencoin will be the next coin to mine, uh, the next really big one. Um, but, you know, we'll have to see what happens to it when uh, ETH moves. And I, I do agree with you. I think it's got, a, you know, a good year or, you know, maybe up to a year and a half left. You know, I think it might even have less than a year. So, you know, we'll have to see. But, uh, Brian, you said I lost 500 already on my Coinbase account since the drop. Um, now, was that for Dogecoin or for Shiba? Coinbase, you know, maybe that might have been Dogecoin. So, um, Simon, um, you said uh, BitTorrent back in the day. That's where I, when I used to get my software and music. Yeah, BitTorrent sites. Yeah. So that was something that they, um, you know, mentioned actually was, you know, they want to move away from the less ethical legal side of the software and stuff like that in their project to be accepted through AWS for Amazon and other things like that. So, you know, they're making progress to be more, you know, accepted in the main world um, where it isn't, you know, about getting files and music and stuff like that. But I think that's a good thing. So hopefully, but, um, you know, hopefully it, it turns out good and, and the price goes up because, you know, I've been mining it for a few months now and it, it mines really well with uh, my GPU rigs with the ETH hash algorithm. So um, now, of course, I am using older GPUs. Uh, if you're new on the channel um, or if you've been around, you know what GPUs I have, the RX 580s, uh, 1660s and 1060s. Um, but, uh, yeah, I have not gotten any of the new GPUs. Unfortunately, I was not able to get my hands on a 3080 Ti, um, which I was hoping to, or a 3070 Ti. Um, unfortunately, I was not able to drive to a Best Buy because the one closest to me was probably an hour and a half away. Um, if I was not going to work on the, the day that it was launching, I probably would have tried to get there, you know, really, really, really early in the morning. But, unfortunately... 
assuming everything went perfect. Uh, the sales started at 9 a.m., and I had to be back um, at work at 9.30, or uh, 9.45, so it would have been, you know, not enough time to even do it, assuming I got it. So, unfortunately, I wasn't able to get them, but... Um, so, uh, Simon, you said, I don't know if it's the same thing or not, BTT. Uh, they're related, but uh, I don't know if it's exactly the same company. Um, but I know they had something to do with each other. I'll say it like that. Um, uh, George, you said one Doge wallet holds 27% of the supply. So, yeah, it's, it's not uh, ideal, but, you know, maybe you know once uh, they start to realize what's going on um you know they'll separate it out but you know who knows because the rich list you got to kind of take with a grain of salt because you know they could split that wallet into 10 different wallets and yeah no one now they no longer have 27 percent of the supply but that one person could own 10 dogecoin wallets you know there could be two people with the top 10 wallets you just you don't really know past that so um Brian, you said GPUs are pretty much mining-oriented application-specific integrated circuits. Another way of saying that a GPU is a, an asset in general, but is not an asset in the context of mining. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, um, you'll they're just going to do whatever they were meant to do. Um, okay, A6 and then Bitcoin. But um, yeah, so you know it is what it is. But uh, you know it's something to. It's something to keep an eye on. I think GPU mining will continue and be really good throughout, uh, you know, the next at least five to ten years in crypto mining. From there, I'm not sure because I think a lot of coins will start to move towards being more green, not using as much electricity. But, you know, I don't think Bitcoin will ever make that move. So you'll always be able to mine Bitcoin. Um, uh, Brian, you said you went from 64 down to uh, low to whatever it was, 32 to 35. Um, okay, so you lost some money on the Bitcoin drop. But, yeah, I mean, unfortunately, we've all kind of lost on the Bitcoin drop. Um, but, you know, I think we could still see $100,000 Bitcoin by the end of 2021. Um, you know, my prediction here based off charts and, you know, just what I've seen and heard and stuff like that, I think we might go sideways right around the thirty-five to 40000 range with Bitcoin for a little while, um, and then we're going to see it take off in middle to late summer. I think we'll go up, 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 right until right around December, early 2022, and that's when it's going to kind of start to fall back down. Um, that's my prediction. I have no idea if it's going to happen or not, so always do your own research if you're thinking of investing. Um, Yep, you have an old 582, uh, two of them. So yeah, they're good. If you got eight gigabytes of memory on them and you're looking to get some BTT coins or even just some extra Ethereum, they're great for mining. You know, depending on your silicon lottery, I get between 28 and 32 mega hashes on the six that I have. So uh, and that's per card. So definitely cool. Uh, Simon said, well, there should be some GPUs on sale hopefully coming up soon. Prices have been going down slowly so far. Um, yeah, hopefully they continue to go down. I would like to build more mining rigs, but I'd also like to just upgrade the GPU I have in my computer. Um, you know, you may know I am running a 1060 that I bought in 2017. Uh, I originally bought it for mining, and it is now the uh, card that I use to do all my editing for Bitcoin tips, as well as this live stream here. So definitely still cool. Um, all right, let's see. We got a lot of people coming in, so we're trying to go a little quicker here, falling behind. Um, Brian said one is broken, so yeah, hey, what can you do? But uh, 3080 Ti, yeah, it was sick. Uh, my Best Buy is only 20 minutes away. Yeah, I have a Best Buy that's about 20 minutes away from me, but they didn't have them in stock. There were only two um, anywhere near me, and the closest one was about an hour, hour and 15 minutes away, so, like I said, if I wasn't going to work the next day, I probably would have woken up, or, you know, even driven there, you know, at midnight, and just kind of camped out till 9 in the morning or something when the sales started to try and get one, but, unfortunately, you know, other things came up, so what can you do? Mike, nice to see you here. Uh, greetings, you know, I'm doing well. I hope you're doing well, too. Um, looks like we've got 10 people on the stream here, so if you guys are new here, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe. I really appreciate everyone taking some time to show up. Uh, if you have anything you want to talk about, feel free to uh, leave a chat in the live chat, um, anything you want to see, so, um, or anything you want to talk about, we can definitely try and touch on it. So, again, thanks for showing up. I do appreciate Appreciate everyone for taking some time to, to stop by.
All right, so back to chats here. Um, Quincy Jackson, nice to see you. So I'm new, so what are you mining? BitTurrent, yes. So BitTurrent is what I'm currently mining, BTT coin. I am mining it through Unminable. Um, this is the pool that I'm mining it on. Uh, they allow you to mine using ETH hash, ETC hash for GPU, um, random X if you want to mine on CPU, and Kapow again if you want to mine on four gigabyte GPUs. It's a really good uh, um, pool. They pay automatically every time you get 400 coins directly to your wallet. Um, I set it up through HiveOS and it has run really, really well since um, since I first started it. So definitely really, really, really cool. Um, let's see here. Brian said Ethereum as well because of the algorithm is getting even harder and more miners get online. Exactly. Um, you know, that's how cryptocurrency was really set up as it uh, continues to go up in value and get more popular. The coin is going to get more miners, meaning the difficulty is going to go up to continue to keep the same amount of coins coming into circulation every whatever the set interval is. So yeah, we're going to continue seeing... Um, we're going to continue seeing a lot of this happen over throughout the, uh, um, you know, next few years of mining as more people find out about crypto and think, oh, this is great. I want to mine. You know, it's not uncommon to see that difficulty continue to rise. But uh, um, H&T is a great spot on the chart right on the 100-day moving average. <laughs> not financial advice, says uh, Crypt Technology Simon here. Um, yeah, we can definitely take a look at Helium, HNT. Uh, you know, I think this is a great project. It's a really cool. Oh, yeah, look at that. Um, you know, we've got a little bit of the head and shoulders here, but, uh, you know, it could, you know, take off and, and you know, really move up there. So, um, you know, looking at the seven day or what well, you said, 100 day. So this will be our 90 day uh, average. So, yeah, it's actually it's looking really nice. So, you know, I'd have to agree with you. Um, hopefully we can continue to see it going up. But uh Let's see, uh, Brian, you said I'm on nice hash, 288 mega hashes, um, one 1080, uh, oh, 3080 for the win three and three different 3070s. You, Brian, you were the one that was able to get them through EVGA, if I remember correctly. Yeah, because I actually, I signed up for that and sent some emails and I never heard back. So I, I don't know, you must have gotten really lucky. Um, uh, low roller welcome nice to see you uh, sorry I'm just now getting to your chats here I fell a little bit behind in the chat we've you know had a pretty good active stream today which is a little bit different than what you know in the past so I tried to switch up the day and do it on the weekend here but uh, I know you know tomorrow's Monday but hey you know trying a different day here next week I'll try and do one on Saturday or uh, maybe Friday evening depending on what I'm up to but uh, low roller um, AMC went up and down this week. Yeah, um, you know, I checked the stock market a few times throughout the day. Um, I don't own a, any AMC, um, and I believe it was you and me that were talking last stream uh, about options trading. I did get approved for my options account with my brokerage uh, service, so now I got to learn a little bit more about options trading and, uh, you know, start learning more about um start learning more about uh, options and all that so definitely cool i figured you would be interested in that and i did not hear that tesla was starting to uh, accept bitcoin again that's really nice to hear um let me switch this back you know we're just kind of talking right now but uh, um that's nice to hear i think that'll really help the uh, bitcoin price uh kind of spike back up so let's uh let's see here uh brian said yeah i'm getting better at uh, my soldering skills so i can fix the other one which is a radeon plus sapphire rx580 yeah that would be really nice if you were able to fix it um you know i i would say i'm pretty okay at soldering i i wouldn't be too afraid to you know solder some stuff but you know on something that small I wouldn't I don't know if I'd be able to fix it but you know definitely keep me updated hopefully it works out for you um, Mike said thanks man any news about the spike today you know we were kind of talking about it I think it's part of the fact that El Salvador started accepting cryptocurrency um, and then as low roller mentioned you know Tesla might start accepting it again so I think that's what uh, um, is fueling it a little bit and then Brian replied to Mike saying yes we're looking in to break some resistance right now if it can land over 39 we're sitting pretty all the alts as uh, Ethereum will follow King, which is Bitcoin. Yeah, of course. You know, all the altcoins are really going to follow Bitcoin, um, which is, you know, for better or worse, I think it's going to be something that happens um, over the next few months, which is really nice. So, 
uh, Quincy. What is the hash rate um, on the cards? My RX 580s, uh, depending on the card, get between 28 and 32 mega hashes, um, as Brian said right below. It just depends. You know, some of the cards get really unstable if you overclock them too much. So for me, I didn't push it. You know, I set it to what was the highest and most stable. Um, you know, I took a, a few hits in mega hashes there. Overall, my two rigs are getting uh, 250 mega hashes, um, so that's six 580s, uh, two 1660 Ti's, which are getting about 27 and a half meg each, and the 1060, which I think is getting like 16 or 17 mega hash. So, not bad, but uh, you know, it's doing really well for me. Um, George said my helium miner is getting about 1.5 HNT a day. That's that's not bad, because um, I know Simon's got a lot of the Asian T miners, the helium miners, so that's definitely cool. Um, I see he just sent a, a response chat there for you, George, but um, let's see. Uh, Brian sounds good. Great news. Yeah, Mike, you know, I'm hoping that we see, uh, like I was saying, I think we're going to see Bitcoin continue on the upward trend, you know, maybe sideways up over the next month or two, and then I think it's really going to take off. Um and head towards, you know, 60,000, 70,000, 80,000 again as um, we go through the summer here towards, you know, fall and winter. Um, and then probably towards the new year, I think we're going to start to see it fall for, for the next little while. Um, that's my prediction, but, you know, definitely check it out um, in other videos and stuff like that. Um, that's just my personal predictions and thoughts. But, uh, Low Roller, I do not collect sports cards, so I, I don't know too much about that. Sorry. Um, Crypt Technology, if anyone's interested, uh, I study at DAP University. Great place to learn about blockchain developer. Um, really like the blockchain dev courses he does. Yeah, I have looked at DAP University before. Um, you know, I did do a little bit of research and watch some of their videos and stuff, but I never got super far into it. So, yeah, if you want to, you know, blockchain developers, I'm sure is going to be a good job in the near future uh, if it isn't already. Um, so definitely, you know, good advice there. But uh, Brian said, yeah, good results on 18 or 21 week. I believe it's a great signal. So should be really cool. Um, George, uh, or I'm sorry, Simon said back to George. Nice. If you have any questions about Helium, um, I'm Simon Future in the Helium Discord and a part of the Patreon Alliance. I've been working on the project, placing hotspots and coverage. Um, the other thing here, let me do this. Uh, this is um, a link to Simon's YouTube channel, Crypt Technology on YouTube. Um, let me pause that here just so it's not playing. I highly recommend checking his videos out. Uh, great content here. I throw the link in the chat. Um, great content here about uh, Helium and other cryptocurrencies. So make sure if you like my videos, you'll definitely like Simon's here. Um, check out the uh, Cryptocology YouTube channel. The link is in the chat. Um, a lot of good videos on HNT. But... Um, yeah, George, definitely, uh, I see you said you'll check that out. Definitely check out the Discord for Helium if you're getting into it. Uh, it's a great project, and like I said, Simon's got some great videos. But, um, uh, yeah, you can do a BIOS update on both of them, and uh, HiveOS actually allows you to do BIOS flashing right in there. But um, definitely cool. Um, Quincy said, I'm thinking of getting three 1650 Supers. Uh, what do you recommend mining? 1650 super i'm not super familiar with that one okay so let's see what it's got um all right uh i want to see um specs on um, nvidia no oh, i don't want to see that let's get tech power up here we go all right, so it's going to, it looks like it has uh, four gigs of memory. So with a 1650, you're not gonna be able to mine BTT or Ethereum. So keep that in mind because you're gonna wanna have at least six gigs of memory. Um, you're probably gonna be mining something uh, on the uh, Kapow algorithm like uh, Ravencoin. Um, there's other coins to mine, but I think Raven is gonna end up being your most profitable coin if you were going with the 1650 Super. Um, low roller, did you buy Shiba Inu? Put in a few bucks. I did end up deciding to get some. Um, you know, I think 
think I put in about $80, decided, you know, mining, you know, hopefully I'll make it back um, if I did happen to lose it at mining. And, you know, you got to take a risk sometimes in crypto. Um, Shiba seemed to be one of the, the first uh, cryptocurrencies that I'll say copied Dogecoin. So I think it wasn't the worst idea, but hey, who knows? We'll see what happens. But um, uh, Mike said, if you don't mind, can we look at the chart of B uh, BTC real quick? Appreciate a lot. Your analysis are really good. Well, thank you. Um, trading view that's the name of the site i <laughs> uh, couldn't remember the name here so yeah let's take a look at the bitcoin to wow i just you know clicked the wrong one completely i want to see bitcoin to usd not to tether okay bitcoin to usd uh all righty and as always dark mode so, uh, yeah, so as uh, Brian was saying here, whoop, no, we don't need to sign in. Uh, as Brian was saying here, we're sitting, you know, right along this bottom line here, uh, which is, you know, we've seen that we bounced off of that a few times, uh, which is right at the 30,000. We did dip down way down there back here on May 19th, and it did pop back up, and uh, we're currently looking at it on the day chart uh, just to keep everyone up to date here. But, uh, you know, we did fall down a little bit, uh, which kind of counteracted the rise that we had in February originally, which got up to here. And the 39,000 range seems to be the resistance. You know, we've been uh, right along here since um, last day that we were, you know, above that. Uh, the first day it closed below that was right here, which is May 21st. Come on draw a line please <laughs> um so you can see this is kind of our um closing area we had one day that closed above there and then it fell down immediately the next day so i think if we can get a day or two that will close above this candle which was uh looks like today and it looks like we started a new day here we've got a small little candle right here um i think we'll be in good shape like brian was saying so definitely something good to see and then you know i think from there we'll start to see it um, moving on the upward trend you know we might get another one of these guys up to the fifty-four thousand range which seemed to be a support or it may even you know get stuck again right around the 44 43 000 range so um you know little quick uh analysis there just based off where it's going hopefully that kind of helps um Let's see, you know, there isn't too much else going on here. You know, if we switch to the four hour chart, uh, it does get a little bit weird, but you can see that we have had some, you know, close above here. And, you know, it's just gonna be a matter of, can we get a few days of closing above this support here, which is gonna be what's gonna help us, you know, move to the next level um, in the price. But, you know, the 9.66% that we saw today, I think is really good. Um, and, you know, I think we're going to continue to see it go up over time. Um, Low Roller, you said uh, you still earning free Bitcoin faucets. Yes, I do still use the faucets. Um, I will have to do an updated video on faucets because, you know, they are really good, especially as price is down. If it does start to go up, those faucets are going to start paying you less and less. So now's the time to be using them. Um, let's see here. Uh, Cryptocology Simon said, thank you, bro. Much respect. I will be doing more videos and training on trading and TA coming up with other projects. Yeah, definitely. Like I said, you know, cryptocurrency, it's a fairly small community still. Um, you know, if you find someone who's got good content on YouTube, um, about, you know, projects and stuff like that, you know, I've got no problem giving a shout out. You know, like I said, unfortunately, I was not able to get any helium stuff so you know if anybody came to me wanting to know more about helium i'm gonna send them over your way because uh, you know a lot more about it as you you know have the miners and run them and set them up so definitely really really cool um you know i i have no problem supporting a great channel like yours so definitely really cool and i know you support me right back so no problem helping you out and i know like i said you you always uh, return it return the favor but um Quincy, yeah, no problem. Glad I was able to help, um, and thank you. I, I do appreciate you wanting to tell everyone about uh, the channel here. You know, we have been growing pretty well over the last few weeks, getting a lot of views on some of the newer videos, um, and, uh, you know, I didn't check today, uh, which I guess I could check real quick, but we are getting really, really close to being able to apply for partnership again on YouTube, which is really nice. Um, 
Let's see, we are at 3,851 of the required 4,000 hours. So we need 149 hours more to apply. So my goal was to have met that by the beginning of May. Looks like we're probably going to be about mid-June, so I was a month and a half behind my goal. But hey, stuck with it, still made it. Um, and, you know, I appreciate everybody that's here. I, I recognize a lot of names, and there's some new names here as well, which is really nice to see. So I'm glad, uh, um, you know, I'm really glad that we were able to uh, build the community back so quickly and and get some great support and I really do thank everybody that's been Here for you know the old channel as well as this one and especially this one supporting and in, in, in the growth and all that so um, Low roller said uh, Shiba Inu is only 80 bucks, but you have a huge upside look at dogecoin what happened people make tons of money on doge Yeah, exactly. That's kind of why I said, you know Worst comes to worst. It's 80 bucks that you lose best case scenario it gets to 10 cents that would be amazing um you know and and i did just see here on on mineable shiba inu uh, is now mineable so if we if we select uh, on mineable here shiba inu you can actually mine with gpu which is super super cool i actually might make a video about mining shiba inu on unmineable in the next day or two and maybe even switch my rigs over to mine some of it because that would be super super cool to get some extra and hold on to it uh just out of curiosity i want to see what i would be getting 250 mega hashes is <laughs> two million shiba a day um what is that a month so that's million <laughs> 57 million a month oh my goodness i might have to switch over and do it for a month you know just to have it and you know maybe on the off chance that it goes up make quite a bit that would be kind of funny but uh yeah 14 people were watching we did peak up at 14 i did see that huge huge thank you to everybody that did stop by i am unfortunately gonna have to get ready to wrap this up here i do have uh somewhere to be but um you know huge thank you to everybody that uh has shown up um you know this has been one of the more successful streams uh i do plan to try and do another stream maybe friday or saturday this week um i i tried to take your guys' advice try to sunday this week and you know seems to be pretty successful so um brian you said i think we're about to beat an all-time high of 64 maybe even 70 in no time soon i 100 percent agree with that you know the time frame you know might be a month or two but i think for sure before the Oh, excuse me. For the end of 2021, we will definitely see a new all-time high, which will be really cool. So, uh, Mike said, awesome work and great analysis. Have you heard about the new IRS tax implementations? Zero capital gain tax on profits less than 200 per trade due to El Salvador Bitcoin accepting as legal tender. I did not hear about that. That's super interesting. I'd have to check that out. Um, but, you know, unfortunately... A lot of the times, it is over $200 of profits, unfortunately and fortunately. So you'd still have to pay tax, but, you know, that does help, you know, little people with capital gains, um, which is still really cool. Um, but uh, Low Roller, I did, um, I did some videos on Chia. Uh, I ended up never going forward with it because of the strain that it put on the hardware. I had a friend who used it and ended up having to RMA his hard drive that was almost brand new because it uh, basically killed it after a few failed plots. So I decided to stay away from the project overall. Plus it was a pretty big risk compared to the reward because uh, you pretty much just had to get lucky i know there are pools that are popping up now but still i decided to not go for it because of the strain it puts on the hardware um let's see uh, mm, uh which chat are we on so low roller said you can collect 80 bucks on faucet faucet earnings that's very true um and then yeah it was on our bitcoin brian have a nice night thanks for stopping by um i i'm surprised faucet owners don't jump on shiba inu yet we are, we can collect yeah i haven't seen any shiba faucets yet but still super super interesting and i think we will in the future but uh well uh i am probably gonna wrap this up here guys so thank you for a successful stream again thanks for all the support here on the channel uh, we've been growing really good and hopefully by the next time we're streaming we will be able to apply for partnership and may even be back in the partnership program so huge thanks um 
Oh, Brian, thank you so much. Um, unfortunately, I don't have the ability to take the donations because I was kicked out of the partner program. And hopefully by the next time I'm streaming, I'll be back in there and, you know, maybe can set that up. But absolutely not necessary. But thank you so much for the offer. Um, the support right now, just tell your friends, tell your family, share the channel. Um, I'll take that instead of the donations. So um, I, I appreciate the thought, though. Um, yeah, get your super chats up, you know, that, you know, as the streams continue to grow, super chats will definitely be something I want to look into. Um, but yeah, like I said, you know, uh, since you can't donate right now, I, I do appreciate it, but feel free, please share if you really like it that much. Um, share with friends and family so we can continue to grow. Um, I appreciate it, but thanks everyone. Have a nice rest of the day, and I will see you guys in the next one. Have a nice one. Bye.